Hello, hello, welcome back to my crib. Today's video is gonna be a makeup organization tour. Hello, I've missed you guys. I've missed you guys so much. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back, okay? I'm back. It's been a minute. I thought the perfect video to come back would be a makeup organization little tour because I love, 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 love watching people's makeup organization. It gives me a thrill. And then my girl Rhea at Reorganize and her team helped me organize all of this to perfection. So let's get into it. This is it. Here she is. This is from Ikea. A lot of people have this and that's because it just makes sense for makeup. It's so good. I honestly fought getting it for a while because I was like, no, everybody has that organization system. I'm not gonna get it, I'm not gonna get it. And then I did it. So this is it. Um, she's beautiful. We're gonna go ahead and start on this side and I'm just gonna try to kind of move through because there's a lot of organization. There's also a closet that is beautifully organized as well that I wanna show you guys. So. We'll just start in this section right here. I really love how these display shelves have things, memorabilia that I want to remember, huge accomplishments. So on this shelf, we have some of my glasses from my very first Desi Eyewear launch, which I'm so proud of. And we're actually coming up on our one year. So this month, one year anniversary, which is crazy to think about. But anyways, we'll go ahead and get back into the makeup. This first section is a ridiculous amount of lip liners. These are so beautifully organized. I love all the containers and um, you guys can go ahead and check Rhea's page. She'll have a highlight with where all the containers are from and stuff. So you'll have all that information and I'll link that in the description box. But. Oh, uh, look at this. Like when I open this drawer, it is so stunning. This is just so beautifully organized with all the different shades. I think it's so funny that I have all of these just in case lip liners because let's be real, I live in the nude section over here. I live in this row and I typically use the same ones. However, when I serve looks, I like to know that I have, okay, because a lot, I was laughing because I was organizing these the other day and kind of getting rid of some and I was like, wow, I really never wear hot pink lips, but here we have, you know, 10 different, 20 different hot pink lip liners. But look at this, stunning. Love this drawer. All right, next, these are a bunch of um, lipsticks, obviously, liquid lips. We also have some glosses in here and if you look closely, there's a lot of NYX backups. An insane amount of NYX backup lipsticks. These are some of my favorite and I can't run out. My two favorite shades, London and Abu Dhabi, and I'm obsessed with them, so I have backups. Like a lot of times when I'm wearing a nude lip, it is those two shades. Phenomenal. What can I say about this? Look how beautiful all my liquid lips are organized. We have Dose of Colors, some Huda, some Kylie, some Melt, you know bunch of stuff, some of Katie and I's collection up in here. Ooh, ooh. I just love when people are showing organization videos and they just touch everything, you know? It's very like, over here, over here, and here, and here. Okay, taking it down to Red Town. We have some reds, some hot pinks, a little mauve story over here. Just a bunch of different lip colors. Again, live primarily in the nude section for me these days. But you know what? I'm gonna say it's cause of the mask situation because before that I was, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't really rocking a lot of nude lips, but you know, red every now and then. We got some tinted, love this stuff, multi-purpose. Multi-use, some NARS, MAC. You know what, can I just point out one more thing? How do you have a perfect container the size to fit these size lipsticks? I just think like that is, I could never, that is so cute. Woo, look at this. Now these are primarily glosses, all different colored glosses. There are some liquid lips in here, but they're all just random colors. Some of them are just really tall products. So 
I love the way they're organized because you can see the labels of every single shade so I know what I'm reaching for. And these are all in containers more like this. So nice. See this? Now this drawer I love because this drawer is brands that I like to see together. So for example, I love to see all my MAC lipsticks together, not by color, but just by packaging. Um, so I like to keep all of my MAC together. I also have the MAC collections. You know, we have Selena. I have a lot of the different MAC collection special lipsticks up in here, Mariah Carey vibes. You know, all the ones that I really, really loved. Marilyn Monroe, this is an oldie. Some of it I'm sure expired, but that to me is more of a collection vibe. And then we have, this is like what I call the bougie section. This is the Gucci lipsticks. The packaging is phenomenal and I love to keep all of this together. It does kind of bother me that I put a MAC lipstick here, but um, I ran out of space and I had gotten new lipstick and I had to put it here. So I just needed to say that. It was important for me to note. Um, yeah, so these are kind of lipsticks I love to keep together. I love to see the Charlotte Tilbury packaging together, Pat McGrath, um, MAC, and then YSL. Fun fact, YSL was the first lipstick that I splurged on when I first started makeup. It was my prized possession. I loved it. I didn't even care for the color that I bought that much, to be honest. I just thought the packaging was everything and I felt really cool having a YSL lipstick. Um, and then here is just more lipsticks. This drawer I actually have need to go through and kind of um, clear out some lipsticks that I know I'm just not gonna use anymore because this drawer is a little crazy. And now that I've lived in this organization for a bit, I realize what colors I really don't reach for very often. So I just don't think there's a need for me to have this many purple lipsticks. I don't remember the last time I've worn purple. I think a few is nice to have for, for looks just in case, but yeah, we gotta go through that drawer. That's for sure. All right, so now let's hit up this second section over here. Up here we have setting sprays and some skin stuff that I would reach for. I love this little turning situation. Some of my more go-to foundations are right here, which I think is really nice because I don't have to dig. I know that I'll kind of transition through a lot of these foundations. Um, and then again, some Desi X Katie memorabilia in here with some old school MAC single shadows. I don't really remember the last time I purchased a MAC single shadow because I just feel like, I think we all do palettes or we put them in palettes. But you know, I have them in here. All right, starting with the first drawer. This is one of my favorites. This is all of my blush. And I love blush. I can honestly say that I use a lot of these blushes. I love, this is one of those makeup items that I truly do use different brands, different blushes all the time. I have been grabbing for all of these things. I have some backups of things. Um, and of course, this is also because I wear a lot of blush, I really do edit this drawer a lot. So if I find I'm not using it, I get rid of it because so many people come out with new blushes that I wanna make room for the ones that I do really use. So we have a lot of cool blushes over here. Again, I think they're really nicely organized. My old organization system made it a little bit hard to see every product. And so what I really love about this is that I can see where everything is. It's grouped by brand, so I know if I'm looking for a specific NARS blush that all my NARS blushes are here. Laura Mercier, MAC, um, some blush palettes, cream blushes. I'm a huge fan of cream blushes right now. Just a ton of stuff. Milani, oh, Milani is just so good. Some backups, more cream blushes from NARS over here. Refi, Fenty, Kristen Dominique's brand, Dominique Cosmetics. Just, you know, I gotta make space for all the new beautiful blushes. I also really, really love that all of these, I just wanted to say I love that with organization that if I were to have organized this, they would have all been in a similar container. But I think it's really nice that these were specifically organized to fit 
you know, each container. So these are standing with little shelves, if that makes sense, little racks. And then these are flatter, lower um, containers in here, which I think is really nice. Ooh, we got our bronzers, baby. Look how beautiful this looks. Everything, and, my, and keep in mind, I have been living in this organization. The fact that everything is still very much organized goes to show, I think these were the other way actually, but I, I flipped them. Um, the fact that these are still very much organized shows that the system is good because I will run through shit like a tornado and it will look crazy. So this makes me really happy. Um, again, just grouped by brand, by the way the packaging sits, everything has a perfect container. Love this. We got some Marc Jacobs. These bronzers are really good, the Marc Jacob ones. Um, Charlotte Tilbury, love her. Fenty right now is probably my favorite bronzer. Um, I love the Fenty bronzers, they're so nice. These are some of the cream ones, but I have the um, Island thing, and then this is a classic. I still use this, I have used it for years. This Milani baked bronzer, this is number five, and it has been with me for years. I mean, I've gotten new ones, but you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just a go to for an all over glow, baby. Load it on the glow drawer. Here's all of my highlighters. Of course, we have our Desi X Katie back here, iconic still. Everything grouped by either brand or palette type size. So lots of the liquids are laying flat right here. Again, I would have never thought to use uh, the little spice racks. These are spice racks. Genius. I live over here, love the Auric Glow. We have some Artist Couture, all my Artist Couture stuff over here. Jaclyn Hill, Becca Cosmetics. I think, I hate to say it, but I think my naked ones, these ones might go soon. I don't really reach for them very often. And I feel like they're a little glittery for a highlight, but I think they look beautiful on the body. And I think that's why I kept them. These are all the eye pencils, brow pencils, brow products, and mascaras. Why I have so many mascaras? You know, I think what happens is I like to try new things when they come out. And so because I'm trying all these mascaras, I end up building up a huge collection. I don't even really have eyelashes. So it's very interesting that I have so many mascaras. But here we are. And then again, all of the eye pencils grouped by colors. So I love that. All our blues, purples, you know, uh, nudes, blacks, browns, greens, liquid liners. And then we have our brow pencils, brow gels, pomades, just all the things, a little brow kit back here, a little tweezer man kit. Then we have my foolproof brow powder from Benefit, my special, special? Wow, my special packaging. I am, oh, I miss that. That was such a great collaboration. I love them so much. Single shadows, eyeshadow bases, just all the things right here. This was such a great way to organize because I was really struggling with figuring out how to organize all my single shadows to where they had visibility and I could tell where everything was before they were starting to pile up. And now I can see everything. It just looks so beautiful, so pretty. I love it. Here I have all my Laura Mercier shadow sticks, some NARS, some Bobbi Brown, uh, Makeup Forever, some Maybelline. These um, paint pots, I really love the idea of stacking things that you can't see the bottom of upside down. Uh, Rhea and their team did that, which makes so much sense because before I probably would have stacked everything like this. I mean, it seems like common sense to put them upside down, but I don't think I was doing that. So it's just nice to be able to see all the colors here. Obviously you don't need to because you can see the top, so it's nice. It just all makes so much sense. Um, and then again, liquid cream eyeshadows, more single shadows. Oh wow, this one is also like a huge memory eyeshadow for me that I've had since I started. This Laura Mercier eyeshadow was everything to me. Um, black carrot, yeah. This was like my go-to anytime I wanted to have a special look. Oh, my Natasha Denona Black is Black eyeshadow, so good. 
all the little NARS eyeshadows. I love to see all the NARS packaging together. I have since I, very, since I started, that was my thing. Ooh, the Block Party Shadows by Joseph Colors. Those are just iconic, everything. And then we get into our palettes. I find it hard for me to get rid of eyeshadow palettes, especially because I feel like eyeshadow palettes for me a lot of times have a huge memory attached to them or they are collaborations of my friends or I just really love them or some of them in here are more like specialty occasion where I know one day I'm gonna need shadows like this so I keep it. It's yeah, I just can't get seem to get rid of a lot of them. This drawer looked so much nicer. It's pretty much intact, but because I'm running low on lashes, they're not stacked as well. I ran out of all my House of Lashes. You guys, I'm still rocking my Iconics and my Iconic Lights, okay? And I'm out. But yeah, here are all my lashes that I love to use. We have Ilore, Ardell, um, you know, some Beauty by Raquel, House of Lashes, all my lash glues. Individual lashes all live here. It's really nice. And I feel like a lot of these lashes are lashes that I actually use, whereas before I was somewhat just kind of holding on to stuff that I wasn't really using that much. I love it over here. Look at this. This was the campaign that um, Chris and Dominique, Crispy, me and Katie shot. Oh, I love this. This was so nice. And it's such a good memory. The quality of this photo is not that good, but it's a really nice memory, so I love that they put it there. And then my Benefit Bomb Ass Brows box. This was everything. Again, I loved this collaboration. My Dose of Colors collaboration with Katie. And then my very first launch with Desi Skin. So special. This was actually meant to be my PR box for Benefit, but we decided it was it's too wasteful to send out because it's heavy, like acrylic. So we didn't do this, but I kept the, I kept the box because I thought it was still so special. They gave it to me. And my idea behind this box and what the shape is here, which never saw the light of day, but I, wanted it to feel like when you break through glass ceilings. And these were supposed to be parts of that, like shards breaking through because that's what the packaging in the background is supposed to symbolize. I really like that. Okay, here we have some concealers. Not super exciting. And primers. Again, the spice rack thing, vibes. Love that. I think that's so epic. Um, yeah, so I love that all again, these little things all fit by brand, the concealers, um, a little eye cream, just anything that I would use kind of in that realm, some backup eye creams back there. Um, and then the ones that are taller are standing in these containers. Over here, love this drawer. This is one of those drawers that I think is so beautiful. All my foundations laying flat on the spice racks, so visually pleasing also allows me to see all the foundations that I have and the colors. I just love the way these are displayed. It lets me see all the different foundations, the colors, everything looks stunning. Love that there's a place for um, these types of packaging over here. And then again, these all fit perfectly in these standing organizers. This is just beautiful. I love the way this looks. We have all of our loose powders, lots of loose powders. This is again another item that I love to test out and try new things, different shades between pink, violets, um, you know, all the different shades. And I'm really glad I do because I saw a TikTok sharing the By Terry powders and um, this one, the Apricot Light Number no. Two. I have been loving. This is so nice and hydrating. This one, not loving. This is like the translucent, a little too light for my skin. So I'll probably have to say goodbye to that one. But the peachy one, oof, love that. So these are all the powders that I like to use, dabble in. Oh, the Huda Beauty ones are so good. And they made little travel size ones, which is so nice. I feel like all the brands should do that because 
um, translucent powder is so bulky that when you travel, this is so nice. I love that, Ooh, love that. KKW, some Maybelline Fit Me because this powder goes off. Born This Way. I have a lot of powders that aren't here also in my uh, makeup desk because, you know, they're the current ones that I'm using, but I dip into here all the time, so. This is more of a pressed powders drawer. So all of my pressed powders and then an overflow of the loose powders. So many loose powders. Just can't get enough. Again, everything is placed to where I can see what it is, what the color is. This is kind of a drawer of a lot of different things. We have some face palettes here. So some highlight, bronzer, sculpting type palettes. Then over here we have some contour sticks, some foundation sticks that I use as contour. We have the Made by Mitchell um, bronzer, liquid bronzer. I love a liquid bronzer moment these days. That's all I've been using is liquid bronzer. And then we also have some eyeshadow base over here. So it's kind of just like a little bit of everything, some skin tints over there. Okay, so again, palettes. All of my palettes here, they're kind of organized by size so that I can really see them all, which is perfect because that's really all I need. Once I can't, I can't see them, then that's a problem. Like this Kylie one is sitting and I think I'm starting to pile them up. See, they were supposed to be just like this. That's how I know that something's gotta go, okay? Something's gotta go once they start getting piled on. Then I also have things that are sentimental or, you know, the naked palettes for me, they are something that was my proudest possession when I was freelancing because everyone wanted the naked palettes and when I got one, I was just so excited. So I collected all the naked palettes in here and I can't get rid of them, you know? But they take up a lot of space and I don't use them anymore. It's the sentimental thing. Woo, more palettes. There is, I don't believe any rhyme or reason to these, except they are grouped by um, similar brands and similar packaging. So you can see some Pat McGrath grouped together, um, some KKW, you know. All right, and then this last section over here, so this is one of my organization tips that I did, and I'm pretty sure I saw someone else doing it, so I definitely didn't come up with it, but it was like a candy jar moment with beauty blenders and powder puffs. Love this. I love the way it looks, and I love to see them all. It actually motivates me to have the beauty blenders clean so that they can all be in the jars. Good tip. And then here I have all my perfumes that I love. I recently have kind of been switching around my perfumes. Typically I don't, but you guys know I was like a black opium girl from YSL forever. I did not wear anything else besides that, but now I've been really switching it up and wearing a bunch of different scents. I love this one, the vanilla. Oof, that's a nice one. Oopsie. And then some like travel ones that I love to throw in my purse. I love the Miss Dior one. Okay, and then basically this section is all tools and brushes. So I'm just gonna go quickly through them. I love the way everything is organized. I think it looks so beautiful. Again, they're kind of clumped together by like brushes. I've probably messed up some of the organization here and there, but I know where everything is, just the kind of gist of it. These brushes. These go hard during Halloween, all these bigger body brushes. I use these a lot during Halloween and I dirty a lot of them up, so they all are very much necessary. Here we go, some more. These are my more used, these small detail brushes. Some more body brushes, kabukis. These are great just to throw in your bag, you know, so I keep them here. Bigger powder brushes, like, oh my gosh. This is another brush that I just feel like iconic. I used to use it all the time, this tart brush. It brings back memories for me. I can't get rid of it. One more brush. Beautiful. All of these blending brushes for all the eyeshadow I haven't been blending lately, but we're gonna change that. And then here we have some body bronzers. Again, 
beautifully displayed. Love these. I'm missing a few because I have recently been bronzing in the bathroom, so um, they are over there, but love this drawer. And then here is my tools, some extra beauty blenders. This thing is so nice for travel, so it's in here. It's to put your beauty blender in. How many times I've dropped my beauty blender on the hotel floor, I can't tell you, and then it's dead. It's dead once it hits the hotel floor. This is also so great to throw in your purse, this little uh, blender. Um, the tiny beauty blenders, I don't use them as much, but it's, you know, they're there. And then my face halos. These are so nice to remove your makeup. I love these, the Tati Beauty thing, and then 500,000 sharpeners because I lose them like bobby pins, and I always keep all my tweezers. Anytime I get tweezers sent, sharpeners, lash curlers, I keep them all, and scissors because I travel with them all the time, and somehow they just end up disappearing, especially tweezers. And then lastly, this is just some, you know, roll up, travel, on the go, makeup forever containers. This has a bunch of brushes in it, so really, really nice. They're all makeup forever, I think, except this one's Mayron, so. Got that, and those are in there. Welcome to my beauty closet. <laughs> Scary ass wig heads up there, just looking at me. But this is um, an extension of my makeup collection. Um, a lot of these are, like it says here, overstock, nail t tools, some backups that I of like my Armani foundation that I really love, so I just want to make sure I always have. Um, a, that's a lot of overstock concealer. I should probably get rid of this. You know, now looking at it, I can see that what I need to edit down. Okay, but um, yeah, some brown stuff. Basically, this is all things that I do not use day to day. I probably won't reach for unless I need a refill on something. This is kind of that vibe. Um, over here we have things more for Halloween, so beads, jewels, um, rhinestones, things like that, all my glitters, uh, all the colorful gel liners, and then, you know, some other things. These are some of the original Kylie lip kits that I kind of just never opened because when I first got them, I was so excited about them that uh, I almost didn't even want to use them. I think they've probably all gone bad now, so I will not be using them because I think this is like one of the OG yeah, colors, all of these. So they live in there. This section is what everybody loves. Um, everybody comes over and I, you know, they try to take my Desi X Katie eyeshadow palettes. This, this is all my back stock because I never want to run out of my favorite things. And I'm sorry, but that eyeshadow palette hit. Okay, that one, it still to this day makes me so proud. I love all of our collection. And every single professional makeup artist that, you know, does my makeup or works in the industry always has this palette and they say they use it on a daily and that makes me so happy. They use it all the time so I'm always giving eyeshadow palettes to all my friends. And Halloween, colored contacts, Halloween face products for all my special effects stuff. So I have this whole section. This is something I typically don't go to so that's why it's behind the door. On this side, we just have some things displayed. Again, our PR box for Dose of Colors. <laughs> I got this award from Victoria's Secret years ago, 2017. Facts. <laughs> just a pretty YSL box. Things, they're, they're kind of just random things. I got this um, American Influencer Award, trend, Trendsetter Influencer of the Year. Wow, I was really popping in 2017, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, and then this is another variation of my Bomb Ass Brows Kit. This was like their first go at it, and then it, this is what it turned out to be. So I really love the final. And then here I have all my wigs, which I love how nicely organized they are because before they were just kind of thrown everywhere and they looked crazy. But now I know I have all my blonde wigs in here, black wigs, brunette, extensions, wig accessories colored wigs and some more colored wigs. So they broke them up to dark and light. 
I, this just looks so beautiful to me and now anytime I need anything, I know exactly where it is. It's just amazing. And then in here, everything is so beautifully organized. We have some skincare, body care, and everything you can't really see, but there are labels. So I know that these are moisturizers, creams, mists, um, vitamin C serums, toners. We got a little vagina wash, mm. you know, for your downstairs. Masks, some other, these are all basically masks. Summer Fridays, Love, Ula Henriksen, under eye patch masks, sheet masks. I, I take these on the plane. These are like my plane situation. Body stuff, some creams. Just, I'm not really gonna go into these in detail, but um, makeup brush cleaners and just some extra hair products that I have here. This is all to clean brushes. Some more skincare. This is where I always send my mom or family if they want skincare, they can always just go in there. And then here we have some palettes that are extremely large and did not fit anywhere else. This is like the most massive palette I think of all times. And so they live here. And then we have some extra hair stuff. This is what I take when I travel. So it's already pre-packed with everything I need. Um, hair ties, bobby pins, and I actually did this years ago. This is a bead organizer from Michael's. It's a bead organizer from Michael's. And I have been doing this for years, but this one is dual sided, so you can just fit so many things. And I always have it ready to go, so when I travel, it's just there. We have backup bobby pins. We just have some hair stuff. Hair clips, hair ties, scrunchies, clips, all the stuff in here. Some extension remover, basically everything for hair, some wig tape, all this stuff. I love this section, very well organized. All right guys, so that is it. That is my full makeup organization. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it, got some tips. I certainly did after looking through everything. It's just so well organized. Thank you again to Ria's team. It's been forever since they did this. This was like months ago and it's still holding up. Very good sign. So hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.